Hey everyone, it's Little Lolly Cat here and I have an announcement and it's one that if you've been on Instagram or Twitter you've probably already heard. We have released a new onesie and it is a dog onesie and it is special <laughs> because it is different from other dog onesies that are out right now for, for, for a few reasons. And one of the big reasons, if you can't tell, is it actually has a tail and Basically, this onesie has been being made for over a year because it's had so much hassle trying to get it made. So I will show you the onesie properly at the end. I'm just going to tell you all the things that we had to go through to get to it. So basically, I decided on the initial release with the Innocent Dream stuff that I was going to include two onesies and like I said I'm never going to be doing plain onesies so it's always going to be onesies with added extras so the superhero one has a detachable cape and this one has a detachable tail so we it was that's how long ago it was supposed to be released it was yeah it was supposed to come out with the originals so uh, we basically I drew up a pattern that I wanted done on it so that's where the dog pattern has come from of the paw prints and then we sent it off to China we told them we wanted to attach the tail we told them where we wanted it attached and how we wanted it attached and basically it's been a year of editing little things like for some reason the first three to four attempts with the fabric for some reason China one, changed the colour of it. So this is the original one that they sent back to us. This is the colour it was supposed to be. This is the colour they changed it to. They made the print very, very small as you can see and they made it very boxy. Because for whatever reason they decided to take the pictures, cut them out of the original file and then re-put them on themselves in a weird pattern. So then we had a second one that was more accurate colour-wise but it still wasn't quite right and they still hadn't gotten the pattern right. And then eventually, I, I may have been a little bit more snappy than I would have liked to have been at this point, but it had been a long time where I said, look, we sent you the original pattern file. Why aren't you using that? We literally sent you the pattern we want used on the fabric. We have told you how large to make each animal on it basically we gave them all the dimensions everything and they just kept playing around with it and changing it which is a bit of a pest including stuff like we had obviously told them that because it is a tailed onesie it has a tail so this is the original tail that came with it obviously doesn't match <laughs> i had told them that i wanted the blue tail i had picked out the blue and i said that was the one that matched the fabric best so could you do it with that tail so then they sent us this one one of my big pushes was that I said I wanted it to be at least 24 inches long, so it's about 26 with all the fluff. So this is the original tail. This is not the tail we have gone with though, because the, the next version is more puffy. So <laughs> we did this. Um, we had an issue where they had stuck basically what we have done so that you can wear the tail on the onesie is we have created a really simple really really easy thing which is just this band with a button on it so you can you attach the tail to the band and then just simply tie a bow around it and then the button's hidden and it just looks like you've got a tail a little bow above the tail which is fine on the third I will also say for those of you who aren't a big fan of the tail being there or like the tail but don't want the tail on the onesie, just want the onesie. These are really easy to remove with a seam ripper, which I actually did to the second onesie, which I've put somewhere and I think it might be in the wash because I can't find it right now. So that's what I've done with the second one. So the next issue we faced was I said I wanted the tail down, basically down here where the bone is, at the bottom of the um, tail bone, which makes sense for tail placement, but they kept sticking it at the, for some reason, at this, instead of at the tailbone they kept sticking it at the waist so basically the ways that onesies sit on you there's usually loose fabric around the waist now the problem with this is if you're going to add something weighted there it's going to pull in the fabric it's going to distort the fabric and it's not going to look good so after quite a bit of 
finagling, a little bit of arguing with them, we finally got them to move the tail down so it's actually in the right place so that basically you can wear it without fear of uh, distorting the onesie itself, without it sitting weird and it just looking a lot better. So after all this kerfuffle, I can finally present the finished onesie. And this is on site, it is $29.99 for a onesie with a tail, so it is reasonably cheap. I will also say that these onesies have metal snaps instead of the plastic. I'm giving them a go and seeing what people think. Um, some people seem to really love plastic, some people really seem to love metal. We will see basically what the consensus is at the end. So far I have had very few complaints with the plastic. I have had some people message me and say that basically they've replaced the plastic snaps, they've broken them off and replaced them with metal snaps because they prefer metal. So I'm gonna see what's basically what's more popular, what people prefer, because I do prefer to actually listen to you guys rather than just go, well, I like plastic, so everyone must wear plastic. So I am giving it a go. We will see. If I if I have raving reviews about the metal snaps, then I will keep the metal. If not, then I will keep the plastic, basically. It's that easy. So <laughs> this is here. Dun, 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 is the final thing. Unworn. So as you can see, you get the puffy tail, which is a hecking lot puffier. It's also a better fabric match and they've actually managed to give it a better tuft, which is kind of important. I will say that while it's got a little bit of weight to it, I have made sure that these tails are still reasonably lightweight. Obviously it's a synthetic material, we are not condoning the use of furs or anything like that, so definitely I know that some people will end up asking that question, they always do. So no, synthetic, very soft, very kind, no issues there. And hidden amongst the tuft of fur here is just this tiny little elastic loop that is just big enough for a buttonhole. Now if you're wanting to attach this to other things it is still doable, so if you wish to attach it to a belt or anything like that, literally all you need to do is take a hairband, slot it through, do a little knot and then slot it through your belt. It is still doable. And here is the onesie. We have also, I did promise it was coming, so these ones are in a, available in larger sizes, so these ones are now available in a size small to 4XL, which is more friend size friendly for people, because I know a lot of people have said about how they would have liked to buy some of the onesie dresses, but they were larger size and a bit scared. And it's part of the reason why I know, unfortunately, we are out of 2XL bear dresses. They're completely gone. We can't get them back in, unfortunately, but because the fabric was stretchy enough on them, basically some people were able to sneak in that were sizes 3XL and 4XL into the bear dress because it had so much stretch. So now instead of having to worry about the stretch, we have just gone up to a 4XL. We understand that it's better to be available. So here is the onesie print. It is quite simply just a dogs with paw prints. As you can see, these straps here have been made a bit longer, the button's more central and it's lower down, so you can place it. And once again, like I said, these are really easy to take off. The um, fabric itself is reasonably thin for the straps, and this is important because as many of you will know, obviously a lot of my clothes are made so that you can theoretically still wear them outside. So these are really easily hidden underneath things. You don't need to tie them in a bow, you can leave them hanging, you can do what you want with them. But because they are thin, they're not going to bulk up or leave too much of a noticeable mark. Let's see. I do know someone... Recently I went out on a day out with a couple of friends and one of them wore them out. had absolutely no issue with it being noticeable, so yeah. So it's just something a little bit more fun. And it is, once again, stretchy. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yes, it's stretchy both ways. See, I made, to, I made sure to show you that because I know that's important. There's nothing worse than finding something that stretches that way but won't go down. <laughs> so it is, hopefully people like it. Hopefully people like it. 
I, I am a little bit enamored of it. I may have spent all of this morning while waiting for the mister to help me get basically the camera set up. I have basically been standing around swinging the tail about seeing how far I can get it to go. <laughs> So I will show you the actual onesie now. So this is the onesie. It is stretchy, it is comfortable. It has, like I said, it's got the bow. It's okay, <laughs> it's I'm zooming in it's, on the tail right now. It's much more fun than it should be just because you can swing it about. It is soft, it is comfortable and yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fun, <laughs> let's put it that way. And I am far too amused by this, this swingability basically, but as you can see, while I am wearing it, it's not pulling, it's not causing issues, and that was really important to me. The ability to be able to prance around, swing a tail about, have a little bit of weight, and as you may have noticed, it is a particularly long tail, because I don't like things to look too cheap, and for some reason, whenever they add tails to things, they cut them off about 12 inches, which is about here. And who needs a tail that just goes to there when you can have a large one that you can swing around and hit people with when you pass? Yay! <laughs> fluffy, 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 fluffy. <laughs> yes, so hopefully you all love this as much as I do. I know it is a onesie but like I said I'm never going to be doing just a plain onesie it's something that's still a bit of fun it's a bit goofy and it's still something you can wear outside by just removing the tail and realistically it's a bit of fun for you to dress up in I mean why does life need to be serious bye everyone